Now, some group of civil society organizations are kicking against the Department of Royalty Agreement, the accusing government of taking decisions inimical to the development of Ghana's mining sector and the communities in which they are done. Let's take you to that press conference happening now. As to why an entity without a corporate strategy and approved spending plans will proceed to raise one billion and seed five hundred million dollars to the government in such an indecent haste, especially when there is that needs to be disclosed. So that's where that is coming from, um, uh, and and this is a commitment that we have made as a country. In the, in the fight against corruption. So it's a, it's a right call to be made, and it's not just in respect of Ajapa, but going forward, every company that is uh, uh, incorporated in Ghana, all these questions need to be asked so that we can uh, be able to, to know the risks and also how to manage the risks. Thank you. Is there anybody in this room who hasn't heard names being bandied around and the association of these names with the President of the Republic? In respect of Pejapa, I have heard. Okay? So we are challenging the government to come out, disclose who are behind this company. And if indeed they are politically exposed persons, people with connection to the president, then it amounts to a late capture. A late capture in the sense that there are certain people who by virtue of their position in the republic, their relationship with the powers of state are able to arrogate themselves to themselves resources that commonly belong to all Ghanaians. For now, we don't want to operate on the basis of speculation. And so we are asking the government to fully disclose the entities behind EJAPA, the transaction advisors, the managers, the directors. Then we can move on from there. Let us take note that all the information we have so far as citizens are based on speculations. We cannot vouch for the integrity of documents being bandied around, and we don't want to do our analysis on the basis of speculation and, 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 and documents whose integrity we cannot bound, uh, vouch for. So if the government indeed means well, let them create a website for the Mineral Income Investment Fund Secretariat and disclose all documents on the transaction so we can have a meaningful discussions in terms of the way to go and to safeguard the interests of this country. Thank you. Um, my name is Morris. I work with GTV. If I understand your statement clearly, you are, you are trying to say that you are not in particularly against the monetization of our royalties or mineral royalties. What you are against is the lack of transparency that's um, been associated with it. Is that, is that the case? I also want to understand, the largest opposition party has said that they will terminate this agreement should they come to power. As a coalition, will you support any move in that direction? Thank you. So those were live visuals from the Alisa Sweet Spirit Hotel here in Accra. We're monitoring that press briefing and bring you all you need to know uh, in our subsequent bulletin.